You're watching the New Hampshire Association of Broadcasters three-time award-winning YCN Game of the Week. The YCN Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, your local energy specialist, much more than a home heating provider. The Valley Building Supply, 10 retail lumber yards serving New England for over 55 years. And Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. And good evening, everybody, and welcome to Lang Metcalf Gymnasium in Lebanon, New Hampshire, as we are ready for NHIAA girls basketball on YCN Game of the Week, as tonight it's the Fall Mountain Wildcats taking on the Lebanon Raiders here in the first of two meetings between these two squads here this season. Hi, everybody. Brett Franklin, great to be with you on a... What is it, uh, Wednesday night here, a game that was uh, rescheduled uh, from uh, yesterday. Of course, uh, some win winter weather rolling in, and these two teams meeting tonight. Uh, first meeting between these two teams, Lebanon coming in at 7-0, and Fall Mountain at 5-2. and And these two teams, who used to be uh, longtime foes in the old Class I Division II, uh, what is now Division II, uh, meeting here this season. Of course, Fall Mountain playing in Division Three. Looking at these two teams coming in uh, to tonight, Fall Mountain riding a three-game winning streak, including back-to-back -back victories against Mascoma Valley, uh, including a Friday night win over the Royals, 49-23 down in Langdon. The two losses for Fall Mountain this season, both against Hanover uh, back in uh, January 26th and January 29th. But other than that, wins over Sunapee, uh, three wins over Sunapee, and then two over Mascoma Valley, making it a 5-2 and two record for the Fall Mountain Wildcats. For the Lebanon Raiders, they are off to a 7-0 and start, including a victory over Kearsarge last time out on Friday night, a 41-30 uh, win for the Raiders. And uh, this is their first home game since January 29th. It's the 5-2 Fall Mountain Wildcats taking on the 7-0 Lebanon Raiders. Let's introduce the starting lineups. First for the visiting Fall Mountain Wildcats. And uh, starting 5 for the Wildcats, we'll have uh, Morgan Beauregard wearing number 2. She is a senior guard. Erin Brady will wear number 4. She is a senior forward. Sophie Bardis. One of the players to keep an eye on for the Wildcats, a, a senior guard wearing number five, McKenna Grillone. She will be playing the guard position, wearing number 22, a junior, and then Avery Stewart wearing number 23, a junior forward. For the Lebanon Raiders, it'll be Molly Smith, the point guard, a junior, wearing number one, Catherine Cole, Getting the start, wearing number 10, a junior. Clara Smirsky is wearing number 11, a junior guard. And then it's the Rainey sisters, Mary Rainey, a sophomore guard, and then it's Sally Rainey, who will get the start, the only senior on this Lebanon squad, wearing number 25. As we're underway, a couple of opportunities for Fall Mountain, but can't connect as Molly Smith's jumpers just short. So each team with a couple of possessions and a turnover there. It will be Fall Mountain ball. Again, both of these programs are uh, the class of the Connecticut Valley. Matt Baird Torney in his third season as head coach of the Fall Mountain Wildcats, of course, took Stevens to the Division III state championship in boys hoops back in 2017 before falling to Kearsarge. He is a Fall Mountain alum, so an opportunity for him to come back to his hometown and coach a very established girls program. Excuse me, and then uh, Emily Keough on the sideline for the Raiders, first year head coach, replacing her father, Tim Keough, the former standout player in her own right, winning a state championship with the Raiders in 2013, the only boys or girls team to go undefeated in program history. Offensive rebound and a put back good for the Wildcats, and they strike first, three, uh, two, a minute into this one as Sophie Bardis with the put back. 
And we are uh, have our first points of the night. Molly Smith, tough take to the rim, can't connect. These two teams slated to meet tomorrow in the den as a three ball no good there for Beauregard. And the rebound for the Raiders. Nice take to the rim there for Clara Smirsky. And she's got her first points of the night. And we're evened up at two. And then right back the other way, Bartis responds. Sophie Bartis, the senior, four points already. And uh, she's someone, as we mentioned, in the beginning of the broadcast, you got to keep an eye on on for Fall Mountain. Nice backdoor feed there as Catherine Cole finishes for the Raiders. Four all here in this first quarter. Elbow jumper rattles in and good for Avery Stewart. And back and forth we go, 6-4 Wildcat lead. So here's Mary Rainey driving the lane. Floater couldn't get it through, but she gets her own rebound. And then the ball poked away, and here come the Wildcats off and running. Stewart right to the rat. No, offensive foul. And Emily Keogh is going to call a timeout for the Raiders. With 5.05 to go here in the first quarter, it's Fall Mountain 6 and Lebanon 4. Be a 30-second timeout here for Emily Keogh as the Raiders use their first time out. As we see the offensive foul and that will go against uh, again uh, Avery Stewart, her first, team's first. Had a good JV game earlier tonight as the uh, game went into overtime. Fall Mountain coming away with the win in the extra frame. Out of the Raider timeout. It's Catherine Cole, step back straight away three, nails it. First three of the night for either team and the Raiders have the lead seven to six. As Cole has 10 points tonight. Here's Bardis. Three in the corner is short for Grillone. Cole on the bottom of that pile, jump ball, and that'll favor the Raiders. Leading score for the Raiders, Catherine Cole. She's got five of the Raiders' seven points. Sophie Bartis has four of the six for Fall Mountain. Here is Cole. He's looking for a little pick and pop there with Sally Rainey. Now the double team comes and then a reach and foul, and it's going to be called on, on the Fall Mountain Wildcats. And we'll see our first substitution of the night. Ella Longacre will check in. As Clara Smirsky will get a breather here. Fall Mountain foul was on Sophie Bartis, her first team second. And then we got a reach in foul on the backcourt after a turnover by the Raiders. And Ella Longacre, who just checked in, is going to pick up the foul. Her first team's first with four minutes to go in the first quarter. There's Bardis trying to work on her defender. And then Bardis right to the rim and lays it up and good. 
And Fall Mountain back on top by one as Sophie Bartis with six points tonight to lead all scores. Here's Longacre. Fouled on the layup attempt and she'll go to the line for two. Ella Longacre, the junior forward. As the foul assessed to Fall Mountains number four, Erin Brady, her first, team's third. Longacre's first free throw is good. First trip to the line for either team tonight. Second free throw is good. And the Raiders on top, 9-8. To Ella Longacre, who did not play in the win against Kearsarge last time out. Coming off the bench and getting some points early on here. Maddie Jules, three balls, no good. And then we got a loose ball foul. Going to go against the Wildcats. Well, Sophie Bartis just picked up her second. The uh, leading scorer for both teams here tonight. So she picked up her second, team's fourth. Raider ball here. Give and go, Rainey to Longacre, and Longacre couldn't connect. It was a nice feed. Goes off the foot into the backcourt. Was it touched? And they're going to say backcourt violation. It's a good defense by the Raiders to force the turnover. Rainey was trying to find Longacre on the block. Ball was deflected, but it comes to Molly Smith. Cole. Her layup partially blocked by Bardis, and then we got a tie-up. Possession arrow favoring the Wildcats. Two thirteen and counting, first quarter. Back and forth contest here early on. It's like Longacre's gonna guard Bardis here in the man-to-man -man defense for Lebanon. Bartis tried the backdoor feed to Beauregard, and it was stolen away by Catherine Cole, and off and running are the Raiders. Smith's pass deflected out of bounds. Stays with the Raiders. As Catherine Cole going to get a breather here for the Raiders. Actually, it's going to be a timeout. Fall Mountain. So Matt Beard Torney going to call a timeout here with a minute 38 to go in the first quarter. And it's the Raiders 9 and Fall Mountain 8. Again, leading scorer for the Raiders, Catherine Cole with 5, Sophie Bartis with 6 for Fall Mountain. And for the Raiders' first home game in a long time. Again, January 29th was their last home game. And these two teams are uh, going to meet at 1.30 tomorrow down in Langdon before Fall Mountain will close out the season with two games against Stevens. Raiders again, Fall Mountain tomorrow, and then close out with Hanover. Game you'll see here on YCN. Three ball is good for Molly Smith. Second three of the night. Molly Smith's first points of the evening. Second made three by the Raiders, and they have their largest lead of the night. It's Bardis. Seen a couple of different defensive matchups on Bardis. Goes into Grillone here. Three ball from Stewart's no good, and Sally Rainey with the defensive board with under a minute to go. 
good rotation. Long Acre for two, and it's good. Long Acre with her first field goal of the night. She's got four. Raiders up 14 8. Fall Mountain can't connect there, and all of a sudden they have been unable to find the bucket. 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. See if the Raiders hold for the last shot. Smirsky had the ball deflected. Sally Rainey's put back no. And it's the Wildcats off and running with 13 seconds to go. Brady fouled on the attempt. We'll go to the line for two with 10 seconds. Foul is on Ella Longacre. That is her second. Team second. First free throw, no good. For Aaron Brady, a senior, as Longacre will sit for the Raiders. First free throw attempt for the Wildcats tonight. Second free throw is good. Snaps a drought there for the Wildcats. 14-9 with seven seconds to go in the first quarter. Rainey's shot is blocked. Loose ball on the floor. Travel the call there with 2.3 seconds. It'll be Raider ball. Cole goes into Smirsky, and she's not going to get a shot, and that'll do it for the first quarter. Good one so far. It's the Raiders 14 and the Wildcats 9. More of the YCN Game of the Week coming up next. You're watching the New Hampshire Association of Broadcasters three-time award-winning YCN Game of the Week. The YCN Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, your local energy specialist, much more than a home heating provider. The Valley Building Supply, 10 retail lumber yards serving New England for over 55 years. And Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Starting the second quarter, Raiders 14, Wildcats 9. As we welcome you here, YCN Game of the Week, the award-winning YCN Game of the Week, and the Raiders jumping out to a 14-9 lead early on as we have a reach and foul here. Foul will be on Fall Mountains number four, Erin Brady, her second, team's fifth. Leading scorers for the Raiders, it's Catherine Cole with five, Sophie Bartis for the Wildcats leading Fall Mountain with six. Three ball is good for Molly Smith, her second made three of the night. And the Raiders up their largest lead of the night, 17-9. Natalie Keo talking about uh, Molly Smith, saying it's the first time she's felt the Raiders in this program has had a true point guard in a long time, as the three ball is no good for Stewart. Ball was last touched by the Raiders, so it'll stay with the Wildcats. They go into Stewart. Left hand layup, no. Ball Mountain got off to a hot start offensively, but lately they have not been able to find anything, and there's a travel. Raiders with three made threes in this first half. That has certainly helped their cause here. As Stewart tried a no-look pass to Bartis on the baseline, it was turned over, and here come the Raiders. Cole splits the D, not able to let it fall. Raiders are getting their looks. And it's the Wildcats off and running here. Largest lead of the night for the Raiders, and Fall Mountain throws it away. Looks 
looks like Maddie Jewell is uh, into the lineup here for the Raiders, the freshman, the only freshman on this Raider squad. Gives Mary Rainey a, a breather. And speaking of Jewell, she is fouled and will go to the line for two. And she'll get two shots out of it. As that is Bartis' third foul for Fall Mountain, so that is not good news for the Wildcats. First free throw was good for Jewell. Raiders three for three at the line. As Bartis will be forced to sit here as uh, Sydney McAllister will come off the bench for the Wildcats. So the leading scorer for the Wildcats is in foul trouble here. As Jewell can't connect on the rebound, but it's Sally Rainey with the offensive rebound, finds Cole, and she hits the three. And it's 21-9 Raiders with 5.49 to go here in the second quarter. Fourth made three of the night, second for Cole. And again, another forced turnover by the Raiders. And the defense playing well so far. It's Rainey. Nice backdoor feed to Smirsky, and she lays it in for two. Clara Smirsky picks up her fourth point of the night, and the Raiders are pouring it on here in the second quarter, 23 to nine. And there's a foul on the layup attempt by Brady. As Fall Mountain has not scored a point in the second quarter. And for Raider fans, if you go back to Friday night when the Raiders were in a tough matchup with Kearsarge before a 19-0 third quarter, ended up putting it away as Brady breaks the scoring drought with the free throw, her second free throw of the night, made free throw, excuse me, made a free throw. She's got two points, 23-10. The Raider lead with one more coming. She's two for four from the line now. Smith's layup attempt blocked. It was tough going up into that double team as Madeline Newton gave a nice pass there, but Defense clamping down for the Wildcats. Still looking for their first made field goal of the quarter here is Fall Mountain. And they're not going to get it there as, Mary, as uh, Sally Rainey comes away with the steal for the Raiders. Cole, finger roll, no. Couldn't get it over the reach of Grillone, but then another Wildcat turnover in the backcourt and it comes to the Raiders and they'll reset. Rainey, head fake, driving, leaner in the lane, no. But it's tipped right back to her by Molly Smith. And the Wildcats looked like they were going to come away with the loose ball. And then we got a tie-up. Possession arrow favors the Wildcats. Just one point in this. Second quarter for the Wildcats, and there's a Molly Smith steal, and she should have an easy two, and she does. Molly Smith with her eighth point of the night. And her, along with Catherine Cole, the leading scorers. And it's all Raiders here as they go into Brady, and she is fouled. It'll be on the floor. Cole picks up the foul on, for the Raiders. That is her first, team's fourth. Fall Mountain looking to get something going here in this second quarter. Again, looking for their first field goal. That one goes off the foot of Grillone, and it comes to Molly Smith. Smith in the lane. And then... Mary Rainey and Shea Pickering tie it up underneath. Possession arrow favoring the Raiders. Oh, 
Rainey going to run the point here for the Raiders. Now she'll find Smith. Rainey to her sister, Sally Rainey. A little too strong on the layup attempt. And it's the Wildcats off and running here. Raiders outscoring Fall Mountain 11 to one in the second quarter. Shots just not falling for Fall Mountain. Newton is fouled in the corner. And that's gonna lead to free throws as that is the seventh team foul. And the Raiders are in the one and one. Foul was on Beauregard for Fall Mountain. That is her first. Team seventh. So here is the sophomore, Madeline Newton. Short on the free throw. But another offensive rebound for the Raiders. Leading score for Fall Mountain, Sophie Bardis is on the bench with three fouls. And again, Fall Mountain coming up empty on that possession. Great defense by the Raiders here in this first half. As we approach the two minute mark here in the second quarter. Cole, she'll take a three and it's too strong. Again, offensive rebound was had for a moment by Smirsky and it goes out of bounds and it'll be Fall Mountain basketball. Molly Smith has eight, Catherine Cole with eight for the Raiders. Leading scores for both squads. Pickering a little shaky handling it there and Fall Mountain all sorts of out of whack here with the defensive pressure by the Raiders. Three ball in the corner, no good by Pickering. And it comes to Cole, quickly up ahead to Rainey. Rainey fouled on the layup attempt. And she'll get two free throws out of it. Foul is on Avery Stewart. That is her second. So Stewart has two. Bardis with three. Brady with two. So foul trouble here for the Wildcats as Mary Rainey hits the free throw. Raiders four of six from the line with one more coming. Rainey sinks them both, her first points of the night. 17 point Raider lead, a minute 15 to go here in the second quarter. Largest lead of the night for the Raiders. They have looked good here in this first half. Still looking for their first field goal of the night is Fall Mountain, and they won't get it there. Here come the Raiders, three on two if they want it. Cole, nice feed, and the layup is good for Molly Smith. Molly Smith is the leading scorer, first, first player to double digits. She's got 10, and it's all Lebanon here in this first half, 29 to 10. And it looks like we're going to get a foul here, loose ball foul on Fall Mountain. And it will be on Fall Mountain's Sydney McAllister. That is the ninth team foul on Fall Mountain, so still in the one and one, Sally Rainey to the line here. Kira Hudigby is now into the lineup for the Raiders. The sophomore, first time we've seen her tonight. So Sally Rainey to the line for a one and one. Thirty-eight seconds to go. Can Fall Mountain get a momentum bucket here? And they finally get the 
Layup there from Erin Brady, her first field goal of the night. That is the first field goal of the quarter for Foul Mountain. 29-12 with 15 seconds to go. Raiders should hold for the last shot. Cole, right to the rack, lays it in and good. Her 10th point of the night. And that's going to do it for the first half. The Raiders with an impressive first start to this game here as they put an impressive second quarter outscoring Fall Mountain 17 to 3 in that quarter. Certainly impressive. As this was the nice dive we saw and plenty more of that in the first half from the Raiders. So we are in the half. It's 11 and 31, Fall Mountain 12. We'll be back after this on the YCN Game of the Week. You're watching the New Hampshire Association of Broadcasters three-time award-winning YCN Game of the Week. The YCN Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, your local energy specialist, much more than a home heating provider. The Valley Building Supply, 10 retail lumber yards serving New England for over 55 years. And Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Back here on YCN Game of the Week, we are at the half. Girls basketball action. The Lebanon Raiders all over the Fall Mountain Wildcats by a score of 31 to 12. The Raiders. Uh, outscoring Fall Mountain 17 to three in that second quarter. Raiders with two players in double figure scoring. Molly Smith with 10, Catherine Cole with 10, while Fall Mountain led by Sophie Bardis with six, but she has been hampered with foul trouble with three personal fouls. Raiders also uh, connecting from long distance as four made threes in the first half, coupled with uh, multiple turnovers by the Wildcats and it is certainly played right into the hands of this Lebanon defense, which has been ferocious tonight. Um, some other scores tonight, again, as we mentioned, for the Raiders. Smith and Cole leading the Raiders with 10. Uh, Clara Smirsky has four points. Also, Ella Longacre with four points. Uh, two points for Mary Rainey, one point for Maddie Jewell. Raiders were five of eight from the charity stripe in the first half. Only three players scored for Fall Mountain in that first half. Again, Sophie Bardis leading the Wildcats with six, but she has three personal fouls. The next leading scorer for Fall Mountain is Erin Brady. She has four points, uh, and she has two personal fouls. And then Avery Stewart has been held in check tonight. Uh, just two points for the junior, and she has two personal fouls. So certainly a lot of work needed to be done by Matt Beertorney and his Wildcats as uh, the Lebanon Raiders doing it all with defense here tonight. And again, if you go back to Friday night, Raiders were in a tough matchup with Kearsarge. Third quarter, Raiders outscored the Cougars 19 to nil, and the rest was history and uh, almost looked a little deja vu in that second quarter for the Raiders here in this one as they lead it 31 to 12 over the Fall Mountain Wildcats. When we come back, we'll have the second half next. You are watching YCN Game of the Week. You're watching the New Hampshire Association of Broadcasters three-time award-winning YCN Game of the Week. The YCN Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, your local energy specialist, much more than a home heating provider. The Valley Building Supply, 10 retail lumber yards serving New England for over 55 years. And Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. 
All right, back here, Lang Metcalf, Jim, as we're getting ready for the second half. It's been all Lebanon here in this one as the Raiders lead the Wildcats by a score of 31-14. to 14. This game was uh, scored at 14-9 uh, to 9 after one, but the Raiders pouring it on, scoring, uh, outscoring the Wildcats 17-3 to 3 in the quarter. Get Molly Smith, Catherine Cole for the Raiders, leading all scores with 10 points each. Sophie Bartis leading Fall Mountain with six. The Fall Mountain ball to start this one. Again, uh, Bartis has three personal fouls, so something to keep an eye out on for the Wildcats. And right off the bat, not the start they wanted as they travel. As much as the Raiders D has been good tonight, uh, a lot of the mistakes by Fall Mountain has been self-inflicted for sure. Putting on a little backcourt pressure here as Smith handles it with ease. Again, these two teams will meet again tomorrow. Quick turnaround down in Langdon at the Den, as it's affectionately known as for the Fall Mountain fans. 1.30 tip tomorrow. The boys will meet here at 1.30 tomorrow as well. Raiders uh, getting a 48-40 win. The boys game earlier today. Down in Fall Mountain. Smirsky catches in the lane. Wanted to find Rainey in the corner, but Bartis with the steal quickly up ahead. Should be an easy layup for Stewart, and it is. Avery Stewart, first point since the first quarter. And Fall Mountain strikes first here in the second half. 31 to 14. Well, Wildcat fans would like to see the Bartis to uh, Stewart connection here in the second half. That would bode well for them. Rainey fouled on the floor. And the foul will go to Grillone. Her first, team's first of the half. Ella Longacre into the lineup for the Raiders. She's got four points tonight. Cole lost the handle on her drive to the rim. Stewart can't connect on the layup attempt and Rainey with the big rebound. Raiders have numbers if they want to push. Smith crosses over her defender right to the rim. No, but she's fouled and will go to the line for two. And it looks like they're going to get Grillone again on the foul. That is her second. So she picks up back-to-back -back personals. And it's Molly Smith to the line for two shots. Smith tonight, 10 points. Tied with Cole for the leading score. Now she is the leading scorer. Two made threes, uh, also on the score sheet for Molly Smith as she goes two for two from the line. 12 points for Smith, and the Raiders lead it 33-14, two minutes into this third quarter. Bardis, she'll fire away. And it comes to the Raiders. Rainey. Jump stop, layup, no. Gets her own rebound, powers back up, and she's fouled and will go to the line for two. Good second effort by Sally Rainey. Way to stay with the play, and she'll get free throws out of it as the foul is assessed to Avery Stewart, and that is her third personal foul. So Stewart with three and Bartis with three for Fall Mountain as Rainey hits the free throw, her first point of the night. Rainey hits both. Two points tonight for the lone senior on this Raiders squad. And it's the largest lead of the night for the Raiders, 35 to 14 here in this third quarter. 
Turnovers and foul trouble. The issue so far with Fall Mountain. Grillon with some good ball handling skills there, but couldn't finish. Raiders looking to pour it on here in this third quarter. Smirsky couldn't finish, gets her own rebound, and then had it poked away. I think that was Beauregard that may have got a hand in on it. There's Aaron Brady, can't get it to fall. Rainey, nice feed inside to Longacre. Smirsky to Rainey to Long Longacre. Tic-tac-toe. Longacre's got six points tonight. And it's now a 23-point Raider lead. And another pass stolen in the lane. Catherine Cole up ahead to Molly Smith. Smith one-on-one, -on -one and she goes right to the rim and lays it up. Molly Smith with 14 points tonight to lead all scores. Bardis, no, and just no luck for the Wildcats here tonight. But how about Molly Smith with the great drive to the rim and 14 points, 10 of those coming in the first half for the junior point guard. And as we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, Emily Keogh talked about how it's first time in a long time, no disrespect to the past point guards for the Raiders, but that Smith fills that real point guard role. And she certainly has shown it here so far tonight and this season. Foul was on Mary Rainey for the Raiders, and good defense there as Fall Mountain forced to burn a timeout. With 3.43 to go here in this third quarter, it's all Raiders, 39 to 14. Here in this second quarter, as Molly Smith leads all scores with 14 points. Don't forget tomorrow, right here on YCN, we'll have uh, more YCN game of the week. We'll have boys action. And again, it's a uh, 1.30 tip tomorrow night, or tomorrow afternoon, rather, as uh, the Lebanon Raiders will host the Fall Mountain Wildcats. Bob Lippman will have the call for that one. Again, we'll be on the air a little bit prior to 1.30 tomorrow. Again, you can uh, get the complete schedule, ycnnow.com. As, uh, again, the uh, Raiders led it 14-9 after the first quarter, poured it on in the second quarter, leading it 31-12 to at the half. And they are outscoring Fall Mountain here, eight to two in this third quarter. And again, Fall Mountain got out to a pretty good start offensively in this game. And then once the Raiders had a 9-8 lead, let's say a little bit less halfway through, less than halfway through the first quarter, it just all fell apart for Matt Bear Torney and his Wildcats. Bardis contested three. No, Catherine Cole with a nice rebound, and she's off and pushing. Cole's got 10 points tonight. She wants to go coast to coast. Lost the handle, but it goes out of bounds. Last touched by Fall Mountain. Catherine Cole really stepping into that go-to player role here. I mean, they got a lot of nice pieces here for the Raiders, but Cole has really developed into the Leading scorer role as she's fouled on the drive. Foul is on Fall Mountain's Beauregard, her second, team's fourth. Cole will inbound it. And the Raiders will work their offense. Smith can't connect on the two. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Fall Mountain.
Smarski or Cole in the right corner hits it for three. She's got 13. And the Raiders up by 28. Again, can't get it to fall is Brady and ball will go to the Raiders. Rainey will check out, Mary Rainey will check out as Maddie Jewell back into the Leb lineup. Under three minutes to go, third quarter. Wildcats putting on a little pressure and they come away with a turnover. And it's Grillone fouled on the attempt. She'll get two free throws. Sally Rainey picked up the foul. That is her first team second. So it's McKenna Grillone, the junior, for two free throws. And that kind of just sums up the way this night's been going for Fall Mountain. Can't get that one to roll in. Halfway down and out. Kira Hudigby back into the lineup here for the Raiders. Stewart hits the, or excuse me, Grillone hits the second free throw, her first point of the night. 42-15 Raiders here in this third quarter. 2-2-1 Two -two pressure here by Fall Mountain. Lebanon's quickly got to get it over the timeline, and they do. Smirsky harassed by Pickering, but Smirsky able to keep the play alive. Rainey harassed with the double team, but finds her sister Mary. Now Smith will settle the offense here. Mary Rainey, short on the layup attempt. Rainey does have two points tonight, both coming from the free throw line. Grillone can't finish. Minute 43 left to go. Smith. It's Mary Rainey. Now Molly Smith here to reset the offense. And Emily Kehoe is going to call a timeout. With a minute 28 to go here in the third quarter. All Raiders 42 to 15. As Emily Keogh wants to make sure they get a good shot here before the end of the quarter with a minute 28 to go. Again, uh, Fall Mountain just three second half points here in this uh, here in this contest. And if you uh, go back, Fall Mountains has only hit two field goals since the first quarter. So it's been uh, it's been an ugly night for the Wildcats, no doubt about it. The lowest scoring output for Fall Mountain this year was 49 in their win against Mascoma Valley back on Friday. So certainly the worst offensive output for the Wildcats so far this season. Madeline Newton's into the lineup here for the Raiders. Very youthful lineup right now out for Emily Keogh with her team up big here, 42-15. Under a minute to go. Well, Fall Mountain fell back into a zone and uh, forced a turnover there. Mary Rainey called for the foul on Lebanon with 44.9 seconds to go. That is her second, team's third. So free throws here for Fall Mountain. They are three of six from the line tonight. As Shea Pickering can't connect. Misses both. Yeah. 
Ball Mountain's got numbers here. It's Bardis with the teardrop, no. And it's Molly Smith with the rebound. 25 seconds to go. Just nothing working offensively for Fall Mountain tonight. Smith gonna pull it out with 15 seconds. Smith goes into Newton. Two seconds left, Newton will put it up at the buzzer and that'll do it for the third quarter. Again, Raiders all over the Wildcats in this one. 42 to 15 as we go to the fourth quarter next on YCN Game of the Week. You're watching the New Hampshire Association of Broadcasters three-time award-winning YCN Game of the Week. The YCN Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, your local energy specialist, much more than a home heating provider. The Valley Building Supply, 10 retail lumber yards serving New England for over 55 years. And Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Back here, YCN game of the week. We go to the fourth quarter. It's all Lebanon in this one, 42 to 15. The Raiders doing it with defense as uh, the second, the Second and third quarters have been kind to the Raiders. And inching towards going 8-0 on this 2021 season. Raiders start with the ball in this one, but it'll be Fall Mountain coming away with the turnover, but Fall Mountain not doing much better with it. Jump ball. Possession arrow with Fall Mountain. So Leb right now has got their second unit out there, leading at 42-15. Golden opportunity for this very young Lebanon squad. Again, the Raiders only one senior on this team, which is Sally Rainey. As a three ball is good for Beauregard. First three of the night for the Wildcats. But it might be too little too late, leading it four, down 42-18. Jump ball, arrow goes to the Raiders. And you look at these two programs, Fall Mountain Girls Basketball winning state championships consecutively four years in a row, 1970 to 1973. And then won state titles in 81 and 83. Many Wildcat fans argue it probably should have been three in a row, but who won it in 82? The Lebanon Raiders did. That would be Jane Daigle in the Lebanon Raiders upset the Wildcats in 1982 for the Class I Girls State Championship. But again, you talk about consistency with these two programs and uh, they're top of the pecking order, that's for sure. Bardis with a nice dish to Pickering, lays it up and in. Pickering's got five points tonight. If you're Matt Bear 20 asking where was that in the first half of this contest. Raiders being patient here. Maddie Jewell in no man's land, and she turned it over. Pickering with the steal. Um, Fall Mountain can make it a little uncomfortable here if they can come away with a bucket. Pickering too strong off the layup. Ball out of bounds, stays with Fall Mountain. Bardis, 
short on the jumper, and she has not had any points since the first quarter. All six of her points coming in the first period, but Raiders travel on the rebound, and a timeout call by Fall Mountain with 5.26 to go here in the fourth quarter. Again, it's Raiders 42. And the Wildcats 20. Again, be sure to join us. YCN Game of the Week once again going on tomorrow as we'll be uh, right back here. Lang Metcalf Gym. It'll be Fall Mountain and Lebanon, the boys game at 1.30. Again, Bob Lippman will have the call. We'll have it live for you right here. YCNnow.com. As the uh, Lebanon boys got a 48-40 victory down in Langdon earlier today. And again, these two teams will meet down at the Den tomorrow. 1.30 tip time for that one. And I mentioned the stat earlier, which is still mind-boggling. Again, we talked about Fall Mountain playing in Division Three for the past several years now. Uh, but these two teams used to be in Class I together and played but from 1996 to 2008. That's when Fall Mountain was in Class I, what is now known as Division II. 25 times the Lebanon Raiders and Fall Mountain Wildcats met during that time period, and Lebanon won all 25 <laughs> games. They were 25-0. and 0. Pretty impressive, and they had some classic meetings over the years for sure. Bartis just with a tough off night tonight, and then a offensive putback attack by Pickering is no good. When it rains, it pours, and that's been the situation tonight for Fall Mountain. Just no consistency offensively tonight, and when they have gotten a bucket, it's been few and far between. Stewart will get to the line for two. Madeline Newton picks up the foul for the Raiders. That is her first team's fourth. So it's Avery Stewart to the line here for Fall Mountain. And she hits the free throw. That is her third point of the night. Excuse me, that is her fifth point of the night. And she hits pole. They get six points tonight for Avery Stewart. 20 point Raider lead with 4.32 to go here in the fourth quarter. Mary Rainey is fouled and will get to the line for two. Nicely done there by the sophomore. Foul was on Shea Pickering for Fall Mountain. That is her first, team's fifth. And Rainey's first free throw is no good. She has two points tonight, both coming from the line. One more coming here for Rainey. And she sinks it. 21 point lead, 419 to go, fourth quarter. Rainey with three points tonight. Bardis catch and shoot, left side three, no. And it's Newton. Tracking down the rebound, but then her pass is deflected. Stewart to Bardis, back to Stewart, and she lays it in. Stewart's got eight points. Six of them coming here in this second half. Still a lot of work to be done for Fall Mountain. No good there for Hudigby, Kira Hudigby, the sophomore. And another Wildcat turnover. 
not keeping turnovers here on the stat sheet tonight, but certainly just from the naked eye alone, a very turnover-filled night for Fall Mountain. Newton's layup attempt is short as we approach the 240 mark here on the fourth. Avery Stewart and one. That was a nice play. See the nice finish here by Avery Stewart going right to the rack. Can't connect on the three-point play, though, as she misses the free throw. Ten points for Stewart to lead the Wildcats, eight of them coming here in the second half. Still 43-26 Raiders, 2.25 left to go. Mary Rainey, are they going to count it? No, wave it off. Foul was on the floor, though. Foul is assessed to Erin Brady. That is her third, team six. Here's Rainey right back to it, but had her shot blocked from behind. Stewart thought about the deep three, but decided not to. Good defense there by the Raiders, forcing the turnover. Aggressive defense here by Grillone for Fall Mountain, and they're gonna call a travel. Grillone was all over Smirsky and uh, not gonna get the call there, and uh, it'll be Fall Mountain ball here with a minute 43 to go. Bartis, step back deep three, no. Again, Bartis. Six points tonight, all coming in the first quarter. She's has not been able to find a rhythm, even though, she, again, she was in foul trouble early in this one. As Jewel roughed up down the middle, and she'll go to the line for two. Jewel, one point tonight, 0 for 1 at the line. So two shots coming here, as that is the fourth on Avery Stewart for Fall Mountain. It's the second. Two points tonight for Maddie Jewell, 44-26 Raiders. Bartis. Finally, first point since the first quarter. She's got eight minute to go in this one. And the Raiders will call a timeout here with 53 seconds to go. Leading at 44-28. Again, a reminder, don't forget, join us tomorrow afternoon, YCN Game of the Week. It'll be the Fall Mountain Boys taking on the Lebanon Raiders. 1.30 the tip time here at Medcalf Gym. Bob Lippman will have the call for that one. Don't forget, make sure to join us for the HR Clough Kearsarge Keating, Kearsarge Keating Player of the Game. We'll have that for you where we uh, select our top player for this one. We have a couple of choices, obviously, uh, for the Raiders, of course. Don't want to tip our hand 
now, but just looking at the numbers here, Molly Smith with 14 points tonight for the Raiders to lead all scorers, in fact. Catherine Cole has 13 points for the Raiders. Six points for Ella Longacre. So again, we'll give you our player of the game as soon as this one is all wrapped up. Rainey tried to find a cutting Madeline Newton, but ran into traffic. Three no good there for Grillone. Loose ball foul. And it's gonna go against Fall Mountain with 31.1 seconds to go. It'll be on Grillone. Eighth team foul, so one and one here for the Raiders to officially put the icing on the cake here. So again, quick turnaround between these two teams for a 1.30 tip tomorrow. Stewart can't get her own put back there. Raiders with a great defensive effort tonight. Five seconds left to go, and the Raiders are going to move to 8-0. and oh, And the bucket will count. So that will do it here as the Lebanon Raiders defeat the Fall Mountain Wildcats by a final score of 46-28. to 28. It's now time for our HR Clough, Kearsarge Heating, player of the game, and we'll go with Molly Smith, the junior guard, wearing number one for the Raiders. 14 points tonight, 10 points coming in the first half. Again, finishing with 14. She had two made threes in, that, in this one. Uh, she is our HR Clough, Kearsarge Heating, player of the game. It was all Raiders in this one after leading 14 to nine after the first quarter. Raiders have a 17 to three second quarter and they never look back and they hold on for a 46 28 win here tonight at Lang Metcalf Gym. So again, these two teams will meet again tomorrow down in Langdon, 1.30 tip time at the Den for the Fall Mountain Wildcats close out the season with back-to-back -back games against Stevens. For the uh, Raiders, as we mentioned, at Fall Mountain tomorrow, and then they'll host Hanover February 23rd, 6.30 tip time. We'll have that for you right here on YCN Game of the Week. And we'll also have the Lebanon Boys Basketball game tomorrow, 1.30 tip time against the Fall Mountain Wildcats. Bob Lippman will have the call right here for you on YCN. We'll have coverage starting a little bit before 1.30. So that'll do it for us here at Metcalf Gym. Once again, the final score, the Lebanon Raiders, 46. The Fall Mountain Wildcats, 28. Two teams will hook up again tomorrow down at the Den. Thanks for tuning in. You've been watching YCN Game of the Week. Have a great night, everybody.